Howdy folks! Angels and Demons demo number 4 has been out for roughly 2 months now. It's also received a major update, adding in the multiplayer modes as well, so it's about time to make a short development update video. So what's next for Angels and Demons? After thinking on it for a while, I think the best thing to do is address the biggest bit of criticism that Angels and Demons has gotten since the release of the very first demo. And no, it's not the difficulty of Pepperoni, but the art style. To be fair, when I started development of Angels and Demons, it was from a place of near zero knowledge. I didn't know the specifics of pixel art, music, programming, sound design, anything really. It's been a learning experience from the very beginning, and looking back, the original art style of the game took only the surface of what I knew to be good pixel art, which was that you had to make out what a character was and what they were doing. After the feedback from Demo 1, I looked into the art again to try and figure out what I could do differently. That's when I rather quickly decided on the art style that Angels and Demons currently has. The main difference was giving the colors more of a pop and migrating the black outlines to only be on the outside of the characters. This felt better to me at the time, but was definitely clouded judgment due to my lack of understanding. Anyways, enough lore yapping. The past three to four weeks I've been actually practicing, studying, learning stuff about proper pixel art, like what to do for a potential second sprite rework. I've been studying the styles of my biggest inspirations for the game, being Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time, and Bowser's Inside Story. What makes their sprite art good, and mine not so much? What can I even do differently? Will I have to redo all of the sprites from Total Scratch, plus many many more questions and a ton of introspection? So with that, I want to share my attempts at improvement. Ideally, this will be the last time I do this type of thing, so I really want to make sure I cover all the grounds with this art style. This theoretical new art style features plenty of new rules for colors, outlines, shadows, shading, and much more. Now, this isn't a, um, okay, I give up, I'll do what you guys want kind of thing, but actually, I genuinely appreciate the people who stuck around for the game and not the graphics, or even just the people who said the game looks fun, but not that great visually. How else could I have realized if people didn't tell me? The art of the game has been a consistent area of criticism across all four demos. To me, it seems to be the last rusty link in the chains that hold everything together. Angels and Demons has been an outpouring of my soul since the very beginning. I want this game to be the absolute best it can be, and if that means reworking the like 16,000 plus sprites, then that's what has to be done. I'd rather take the time to do it and make it awesome than release the game and think of what could have been. So, anyways, be on the lookout for live streams in the future. I'll be streaming a good chunk of the process as often as I can. They might be no mic streams at times, but there will be streams nonetheless. So, with all that being said, be sure to like and subscribe, you know, usual YouTube stuff. I hope you'll tune into some of the streams or new videos, because this is just the tip of the iceberg for Angels and Demons moving forward. See ya!